I actually, I can't believe I'm actually sitting here with two of the yeah. guys from 10 years. That's us. We are here, aren't we, Jesse? I think here. I'm here. Yeah. We I were there, mm. and now we're here. Yes. In Ballarat. Yeah. yeah. First time. <laughs> this actually is Where? The, <laughs> this is the first in-studio interview I think we've ever done in Australia. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, wow. We've been coming here for years. Yeah. Since 06. 06. I actually did talk to you guys at Soundwave in 2014. Yeah. That was mm. amazing. And tonight I'm going to get to see you actually play at Corova Lounge in Ballarat. But, Jesse, I just spoke to you like... Just over a week ago, and you weren't even coming to play in Ballarat at that stage. Yeah, I know. Well, we originally, we we didn't think we would make it in in time, and we landed this morning. I mean, we we flew, we actually lost an entire day. Tuesday yeah. did not exist. We left on Monday, and we're here on Wednesday, and we're going to play a show tonight. So <laughs> jet lag is way past an understatement. But I used to drink a lot, so I lose days all the time. So yeah. now that I'm not drinking... One yeah, thing you can be guaranteed of is we'll give it back to you when you go home. There you go. That's exactly. <laughs> it's just borrowed time. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but we got to be home for a day. Yeah. Which was nice. You can kind of be Santa Claus for a day. Mm. Yeah. Well, you were telling me when we did speak the other week that you guys have pretty much gone independent again. So how's that been for you? Uh, it's 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 more work on our plate, but we get to see results faster and the results that we want now, it's more instant gratification but we're in charge we're the we only have ourselves to blame you know we <laughs> pretty much so yeah i mean when you're dealing with uh major labels and all that you've got these guys and suits going well we don't know if that's it's like hang on we're the artist let you just figure out how to sell it don't tell us how to paint or whatever we want write music or you're the guys you're supposed to be trying to figure out. And it, you know, it was at a time when record companies were dying. So they're trying everything they can do. So to have it almost back to a level where we're going, okay, it's a lot more work, but we're, we're watching our music videos and going, yeah, that looks great. That turned out great. Or hearing our records and going, yeah, that's nasty and raw. It's exactly and the, what we wanted. Yeah. Yeah. It's exactly mm. what we wanted, which is an interesting thing that. You can't really explain to baby a baby band that just wants to get out of their town and go and do it, but you know, hold on to that that roughness, the rawness, you know, or just hold on to what you integrity, your your, your, your <laughs> yeah. voice, or your. Sure. But what happens when you get into this business and it becomes you? So you just work, you work, and you work, and you work as a local band to try to to make it, quote unquote, you know, like whatever that means, but um. When it happens, it's just a get a record deal. It, it, get a record deal. It, <laughs> yeah. It's a whirlwind. Yeah. And then when you go, th we it happened to us on our first record, The Autumn Effect, and we were out for 18 months straight. And then we came home. And we were like, "What just happened?" Like it was a, it yeah. was like a, a, we just entered a music storm or something. And then on the other side of it, you you kind of have an identity crisis because now you have success, and now you have all these people coming into the kitchen trying to help you create your 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 recipe all over again and it's just like well i thought we were successful for being ourselves why right. are you telling us to change it yeah i mean that's sort of big business and corporations and stuff they just don't it's just what it is i mean we had some great people you know every avery Lipman and uh, universal uh, that wanted to work with us but he his people under him were you know and, and then it was like everything was changing and there just wasn't you know, and we're a band that can get as heavy as any other heavy band, and we're a band that can get as light as any, and everywhere in between. That's hard for record companies to be like, okay, we can sell them as a hard this rock or that, band yeah. or that. Like, we kind of just did whatever we wanted to do, which is not real typical in hard rock and stuff like that. You have a formula, you follow it, and if you don't follow it, we don't like you anymore. But we were always like, well, Let's write a record because we kind of feel like this, or we're working with this producer or that guy or whoever, whoever was in more control of the band at that time, whatever it might have been, who was writing more, who was enforcing more, whatever it might have been to create these. When we go back and listen to our records, it it sounds like the same band, but it's so many different phases. Yeah, it there's, is. It's, and there's it's a time. It's a time capsule for each record. We've went through different phases every single time, and the last two records we've done independently sound more cohesive as a as a start to finish uh, like the autumn effect because we didn't have any outside sort of distractions or or corruptions we were able to just sit in the room again with ourselves and 
do what we wanted to do. But then there's those moments where I just re- I really feel like a just a you know a kind of a jerk because I'm such a musician or such a snob. I'm like that song's stupid. You know, <laughs> one of our own songs. Like it's so it's so poppy or whatever. But people come up to me like that's my favorite song. It saved my life. And I'm just like God. I'm just such a jerk. You know. I mean like <laughs> yeah. It becomes so it, bigger than us. It at becomes some point. bigger than and be like I don't like that song. But people love that song or this song or you know whatever we had to do to kind of play the game to stay around because you have to play the game it's like it's some of those great comedians like i do a movie for everybody and then i do a movie for me so it's kind of like giving a take like i do one for them and i do one for me so Hmm. well one thing i've noticed with from birth to burial is that it doesn't matter if it's a softer song or a harder song it's got this atmosphere of emotion running through every track yeah um it really It was another challenge for for us because it was another phase of our lives. What we were 10 years ago when we created the Autumn Effect is not what we are now. And we didn't want to try to regurgitate or recreate like something that's already been done and has passed. You know, as you grow, you should grow in every way. And we really wanted to create where we are now and how we feel about the ups and downs of this whole crazy ride. And we feel like we captured that emotion and that energy whether it's a heavy song or a light song we really it it, it was you know expressing our uh, feelings and emotions well i think people get mad at you too when you don't make the same record over and over again they do they they're like autumn effect they want us to go Mm -hmm. make autumn effect again or they want us to go make division again or feeding the wolves again and we're just like that's like the worst thing we've done that we've done that and Mm -hmm. we're i don't but but i make the joke now that we've done everything that we've done and we've done so many different styles of records we're gonna have to do like keytars and mandolins on this next one yeah (laughs) Yeah, i don't don't know know what's next i remember saying that to brian musically because you jesse he does his own thing and we've always but musically that's definitely where i was always a little more like what 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 style where where you know aggressive or light or whatever and just going to at the end of this thing just talking to brian our, our old drummer and uh producer and you know what are we going to do next i don't know what wow. we're going to do next is he's a letter dead letter guy dead letter guys right <laughs> <now. laughs> like, ah, you're late <laughs> <laughs> And, no and they live in this country. Right. <laughs> yeah, we, we got lost a couple times, yeah, too. we live in a couple circles. <laughs> yeah. It happens. Yeah, but, well, you guys, like you said, you've been to Australia a lot, and you are pretty much independent now. You're very good friends with the Dead Letter Circus guys, yeah. and you're touring the country with them at the moment. Are we going to be seeing a lot more of you in Australia in the future? That is the plan. Let's plant the seeds yeah. and start growing a whole new... If people will start... I mean, that's the thing. It's like we, we love Australia. And we... I mean, that's even when I go home, I'm like, rock and roll is so alive here. Compared, everywhere. compared to the States. I, so I feel like, like if, this is... If we can get in here and, you know, put these shows in at the ground level, which is... This is the where we show up <laughs> not to be arrogant about it but well, this is, we didn't yeah, travel this, is, this far to not go blow people's heads off tonight and to give it everything we got and we're yeah. we've just been touring for a month so we've got our yeah. sh- we've got our show legs and our tour legs yeah uh, but the, the, the whole like club scene is truly where we thrive because that's the interaction the energy energy you give and take from the crowd is where we truly strive because We've done the massive festivals, sound all this that stuff's great, but like it becomes such a sensory overload that I feel like there's a little bit of detachment there. But like in these clubs, mm. everybody's in that same vibe. Yeah, it's a sweaty punk rock club, and you it, know. It, I mean, it's great. Such a, in Australia, we call it the pub scene because clubs mm. are nightclubs where they have dance music. Right, I like right, that. Right, I, I, I'm gonna start calling it the pub <laughs> yeah, scene. Yeah, sure. I like that better. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I do too. That's funny. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah, there's all these things you got to learn if you're gonna be spending more time here. Yeah, pubs. hey. Yeah, like I, to eat Vegemite. No. <laughs> what is it? Vegemite. <laughs> What's that? It's uh You can't tell me you haven't tried Vegemite yet. I don't I've tried know. Vegemite. I'm sure I have. I you probably know. was drunk. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I don't drink <laughs> anymore. <laughs> What's this? I drink yeah. I drink oh, so oh, much that? that I can't I'm not allowed to drink anymore. <laughs> and it's lost good. it's better than I've lost what, thirty pounds. Yeah. 
clearly, just based on physicalities, I drank too much. Yeah. I actually, you mentioned about touring for a month in America. It was only three nights ago that you played your last <laughs> yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tour. Well, yeah, yeah. We're technically two because we lost a day. Yeah, yeah right. We, we so time <laughs> warped an entire yeah. day. We so, played yeah. a, the Louder Than Life Festival right after mm. our good friends and nothing more. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we had been out with uh, Breaking Benjamin yeah. and another band called Star Set. And uh, it had been great. I mean, Breaking Benjamins, they're doing huge rooms, yeah, three, 4,000 really people a night. And for rock and roll in America, that's about the best ever mm, right yeah. now. So well, it I was a great tour. With the live scene in America, you bands, you do seem to work harder than Australian bands. We don't have as many venues or as many towns. And Yeah, that's when, when people come over to tour the States for the first time, <laughs> they realize really yeah. quick that, it's seven yeah. days a week and you yeah. play at least five shows at a least. week like i remember uh, the band deer and gray great guys they took us all south america uh, japan, japan all everywhere. over japan but they were so used to doing their little thing where it's like just two shows in a row a couple days off two it's like no. way more relaxed and they got over in the states on the family values tour and they were just like how do you guys do this right. like, what are you talking about this what was it young, young guns and all of them all too of them. were just like and then was it the otherwise guys like the hardest working band in rock and roll? It's like we have worked our butts off, <sighs> and 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 done it the old school way, you know, of just mm. getting out there every night. And you get when you do that. That's the thing about people at home when they play and they they go play a gig once a month or whatever. We're out here every day, so you start to get so tight and good and like your band just. That's how these bands get to where they're at this level. It's almost supernatural because mm. they have they have done it. So many times over yeah. and over again. But that being said, tonight's a little bit subject to change because we're using a whole, bu a whole bunch of equipment that we've never used right, before. Right. And digital. I'm going digital. Mm. I don't even like it, but I have to. No amps on stage. I'm it, we're we're out of our element, but we're, we'll definitely make the best yeah, of it. Yeah, because we can't afford I mean, it, it costs a lot of money to get over here, mm. and w but it's worth it. I mean, we look at it as an investment. I mean, this is like doing Soundwave. I was calling home and telling my wife drunkenly <laughs> every day. I was like, oh, my God, this place is awesome. This is great. We're, you know, I hung out with Vernon Reed from Living Color. She's like, who? He wrote that solo. <laughs> you know, I mean, like just er and every day it was it was I remember walking around the festivals on the first day and being so excited. I'm like, I can't imagine heaven being this much different like except <laughs> except for you know it was like pennywise alice in chains this is like Jimi hendrix and the doors and zeppelin and you know who's playing tonight we're gonna yeah. you know i just can't I'm, i just walked around i was like this is like the coolest thing it's like a festival but with all bands that we love are, yeah. we love and it doesn't matter in america it's like you don't sound like our band so we don't like you it's like well that's stupid hmm. you know you should not like somebody because they suck you shouldn't <laughs> not like them because they sound different than whatever you, you're being told what to listen to. Well, if yeah. Soundwave is heaven, I only just hope that AJ isn't God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We know about that. Yeah, it's funny. I'm but not trying to get into all that. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that you guys are, are resurrecting he's it. Done a lot for the, he's done a lot for the Australian music scene yeah. as far as things yeah. like that go. Sure. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, mean, I still wouldn't want him to be God. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just... I was, no man needs to yeah, I remember just, that. I, we probably, we probably walk, I mean, I probably walked 10 miles that first day just going to all the stages and just... Not even knowing where to go between, I mean, Pennywise, AFI, Clutch, yeah. mm. uh, you know, Eagles of Death Metal. They were amazing. I was yeah. blown. That was fun, good old rock and so roll. We, we just, the, the states are just now, that festival we did just a few days ago, Louder Than Life. I remember getting off the bus and thinking, huh, they're trying to make festivals that are kind of like the European festivals or Soundwave. Like, Europe and uh, the rest of the world has been doing really cool festivals for a long time. And the states do some here and there, but it's usually like Bonnaroo. And, it's everybody, um, every Bonnaroo is too cool for school. Well, you know I mean, it's I mean? just they, we've never. I don't know that we've had a rock festival of that level of like Rock and Ring, Rock and Park, or Soundwave, yeah. or Summer Sonic. Like so, now they're finally starting to take a page out of the rest of the world's book and do it at home, and hopefully it'll it'll mm. catch on in the states. Yeah, and hopefully some of the Australian bands will get oh, a chance we'll, we'll, to play sure. there too. <laughs> if we can help it, we'll bring yeah, There's so sure. many good musicians and good bands out of Australia that it, it 
we could because it's, allowed, to, it's yeah. allowed to thrive here like we listen to the radio like a random album track off a of faith no more album like man there here's your difference in the states you kind of have this same song that oh, we've really? already heard that Soundgarden wrote 10 years ago that they're just re-homogenizing <laughs> 20, to, years ago. 20 years ago <laughs> i don't know how old am i yeah maybe 20 years, whatever it's the same you know, uh, thing over and over again, and they package it with you know different outfits and we whatever. But it's the same old stuff. Is know? Luke on his own out there? Oh, uh, there's a who all's out there? There's two. Oh, there's two. Of them. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't. That's I right. haven't. I don't think. I, if I've met him, I was definitely really drunk because I can't. I don't remember. <laughs> well, I, I remember they they came out. Some yeah. of them came out, and it was celebrating. Was it? Kim's yeah, bachelor, bachelor party. I think it was just him. Uh, it was. But he had somebody. He was partying enough for everybody. But, but uh, <laughs> uh, we should we're throw him under the bus. Like mm-hmm. this, but, yeah, he, he, Absolutely, he, we should throw he, him under the bus. I was mad. His, <laughs> instead of having his own bachelor party, he came out and saw us and hung out and hung out. You know, and then we were looking for him. And somebody yeah. they they like he'd partied so fast. Now, hang on. Let me let me. So I we go we go play the show. I make one drink before I play. Come back. And I go to pour a drink and the vodka out, and it's like a drop. It's gone. And I'm like, and I look at it, and I'm like, there's no way that I drink all of that because I'm sober. You know, usually you sweat most of it out. And they were like, where's Kim at? He's gone. He's like, gone. Man, he put himself to bed. He, he, he went out there and polished that thing off, like, before I think we even got going. Yeah, and then somehow I got home and whatever. And then their manager, the a next couple days, couple later. days later, came up and was like, "Here you go," and he gave us another bottle of vodka. It was it's pretty, pretty funny. It was yeah. pretty <laughs> like, yeah, good for him. It was good times. He had us in stitches talking about hanging out with uh, Danny Carey. Yeah, and stitches. He's fun, fun dude. Awesome. And well, you are here to tour with Dead Letter Circus, yeah. and you are starting tonight in Ballarat, of course, and then Bendigo tomorrow night. It's gonna. You, you don't even have a day to rest. Uh, <laughs> we don't need to rest. <laughs> not not for a good night. Hey, if we're, if a week we're, or something. If we're <laughs> here, hey, if we're here, well, I'd rather be. I'd rather be. I'd rather be working and doing it than sitting around. Especially here, like yeah. we were really excited. It, there for a split second, we didn't know whether we could make this tour happened because it was butted up against all these other tours in the States. And we're tired. We've been torn our butts since off. Since February. So we're pretty exhausted. But this is the last tour we do before we go home and get about a month right. and a half off. Right. Yeah. So this is the best way to sort of wrap up. And our, it's different. Tour it's season. different. It's not the same like in the States. It's like you've we've played done these same death. you know mm. we we you know we've done these same things even the breaking benjamin thing we were doing direct support it was just such a breath of fresh air and then being here it's like we're driving around Australia, it's like, dude, this is awesome. Yeah, yeah. we're getting to see it even more yeah. than we w- did on Soundwave in the time yeah, before. Right. I mean, you actually get to see real kangaroos. And they might be dead at the side of the road, but they're right. Real. Yeah, yeah. 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 they like to overpopulate. I saw yeah. some <laughs> m- some mooses like that in Alaska. I was like, well, there's a moose. It's not moving, but there's it's pretty big. <laughs> but then having the guys, you know, we're driving the van, so Jesse's driving it, and we're we drive on the other side of the road. <laughs> so having a couple of the guys having freakouts and. You know, it's been fu- it's already an adventure just as of right now yeah. it's an adventure yeah. so that, and that's what makes it fun doing the same kind of routine clubs in town where you know like oh this place is kind of or that place this is like a new experience and yeah. hopefully you know will be as good as I mean cuz I was talking to our bass player he he was in Fair to Midland when they came here and he was like well, those shows are, you know, he, I don't, he wasn't complaining, but he was like, those shows are kind of small, but it's like, we should take a day off. He wanted to take another day off and have one. It was like, <laughs> I was like, so you're telling me that the small little club over there was not the best show of the whole tour? And he's like, no, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that. I was like, how mm-hmm. was the show, man? He's like, it was awesome. I was like, all right, then. <laughs> then we're doing that. We're doing it then. Yeah, no Just day suck off. it up. No, no day off. Suck it up. We'll sleep when we're dead. You know, or you'll sleep tonight, you know, whatever. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you'll get to see on this tour whether, you know, Australia and like, because Australia needs the regional cities. Yeah. It's, yeah. We don't have enough capitals to keep a band surviving. So, it, well, it, I mean, yeah, go ahead. Well, I mean, just, I talked to you know, much. we've, we've been, mm-hmm. um, really trying to plan this, this tour with Dead Letter for a while now. And, um, that's why we, there for a minute when we didn't know if we could do it, we we're trying to get, kind of getting bummed out and we we're like this we really felt like that they're a perfect fit for stylistic stylistically with our mm-hmm. music and great people and we just knew that it'd be a great experience so that's why we did the best we could do to get here as fast as we could and try not to miss any shows because 
this is going to be an amazing experience. Mm. I really, truly feel yeah, that. And it's like the way when you start out in a band, you start trading shows with people in different states, like in, you know, in the States. I mean, you go, you, but I mean, we always now had it's a, just different continents. Now it's just different <laughs> continents, but it's like my wife who wants to travel is just, you know, green with envy, you know? So <laughs> I'm like, it's like I can I don't even complain because she's just like you get to go and do it. I'm like yes ma'am yes ma'am. She left to learn how to be a tour manager. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure she she always tells me she would be great at it, and I'm like, yeah, you would be. No, for, for another band. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. I will tell people they can find out more about you at Ten Years Music dot com. Is there something you want to say to to your Australian fans about the album, the tour? Um, that we're just extremely excited yeah. to finally be doing this tour with Dead Letter Circus. And our new album, From Birth to Burial, really, uh, it to me, n- meeting and knowing a lot of uh, Australian musicians and bands, it feels like that album is home here, like the way the music sounds. That yeah. we really, I remember coming back from Soundwave and just really paying attention. A lot of American bands played Soundwave, but um, the more we s- started educating ourselves on a lot of the Australian rock, we're like, that's our style. And Mm -hmm. and the problem in the States is we're kind of like in between styles because we don't want to be all heavy or all light. We mm. it's a journey. It's but then it's, play it's like a little a, more play like a punk band, and then you know there's all these different aspects. He's up there in these ridiculously awesome outfits, <laughs> Westmoreland. <laughs> yeah, like and I mean it's just it's whatever the hell we want to do. Now I mean companies and corporations and stuff can't figure that. Even people have a hard time I think mm. figuring. But here in Australia, that's where this this record and our style of music where we're at is just. To, I mean to me just. It's made for here. Yeah, we would know? be. We would really uh, like. We shoot ourselves in the foot to not mm, try right, to get, right. plant the seeds here. So well, we really hope that it all goes well. Yeah. While you guys were traveling, I don't know if you heard the news, but uh, Dead Letter Circus album, A Thesis, yeah, has been nominated for best rock album with the that's Aria awesome. Awards. There you go. So that's some news that just comes through and really cool. And it's great that that type of music gets nominated. It's great to be associated just even on any, you know Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like even, it's like a patting us on the back too because we get to go play, you know, and we're going to bring them to the States and all that. It's just wonderful. When that, I mean, that's the thing here. There's such freedom in rock and roll here in Australia that's just so lost in the States. And that's why. The only only rock band in the States that gets nominated for anything whatever Dave Grohl's doing yeah, right, the, right. Godfather. <laughs> the Godfather or a bunch of those other bands that are a bunch of homogenized garbage that we're not going to make mm. fun of and talk about even though we probably could yeah <laughs> yeah I will like it has been absolutely amazing for you guys to come in and visit me I'm probably going to have to let you go because you've got more appointments yeah, yeah we do we'll, let, we'll, we'll Dead switch out circus sitting switch. out there waiting so it's going to be a great too. I'm really looking forward to tonight. For sure. It's going to be it, awesome. It's, it's going to be a good night of no sleep and jet lagged rock and roll. Oh yeah. But usually that's when it gets good. It gets good. This is when it gets good. Yeah. Up for a couple of days, you know. Yeah. We'll spray <laughs> some water on you if you oh, like. Oh no worry. I, I haven't played. I haven't played. In, I haven't played in two or three days. I'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be as long good. as you can remember the chords. Oh, I I, have a, I always forget them. I have a good trick though. I blame the text. Oh, there's not any text. We don't have any text. Yeah, you got I'm it's blaming all on you, buddy. It's all on me. Yeah. I got it. Don't yeah. worry. That's okay. I blame the, the panelists sometimes, and I don't have one, but they don't yeah, have sure. to know that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And I will tell people it's 10 years music dot com or 10 years music on Facebook. And that's the numeral 10, not yes. written 10. Mm-hmm. Make sure you grab the album From Birth to Burial, which is a fantastic album. And I love just from the title track, it just grabs that's you my favorite away. song. That's yeah. my favorite song we've ever done from Birth to Burial. When people, and I'm like, that, that to me just is. Yeah, that's my favorite it is song. Amazing it's masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> Dewey Cox Dewey has Cox. a think about walk his hard. whole life. <laughs> you really uh, watch. We watch a lot of uh, Walk Hard. Yeah. On the, I on hope the you have a really good time in Australia. Thank you. We so already are. Thank so you for having are. us Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Hey, this is Jesse and Tater from Ten Years, and you're listening to Collision on Voice FM. Strike that. Reverse it. <laughs>